What's up, y'all? So now I want to talk about our card system. If you've ever seen any of our videos, you see all these different colored cards kind of in the background. And I kind of want to show you what they mean and show you how we kind of keep track and inventory of everything uh, for the breeders. So let's go. So on everything here, um, you see all these different cards. Excuse that light so I can see in here better. Um, so you have all these different cards. Every bin has a green card and then a colored card. There's only two cards. So again, even with these orange cards, it's a green card and an orange card. Sometimes we'll use like a white card or something instead of the green um, because the packs normally come in four colors. They come in like yellow, uh, orange, pink, and uh, Jesus, yellow, orange, pink, and green. There we go. Um, so we try to kind of use up all the colors. Uh, but anyway, for the most part, it's a green card and a color card. So you can see them on this side, same thing. We like to use the pink because pink represents babies, but when we run out of cards, we kind of switch over to these orange and stuff to kind of use them up. I use a lot of the orange cards in with the roaches and stuff to try to use them up too, so we can use more of these pink cards out here. But what's it mean? Okay, well, our green card right here, this is the parents in the bin. Um, so we just use these little binder clips and uh, like a screw to hold it on. This one's like kind of fell down. It's better when it's up into this more narrow part of the clip. Yes, these things break off all the time. You're, you know, putting new clips on all the time. One thing that will help it is flipping it down so then you can't, if it's flipped up and you're walking by, something will catch on this clip and then you just kind of break it off. So if you flip it down, it kind of helps prevent that. But anyway, so what's on the card? So the green card, that is the male. So he's a marble Rex Dumbo. And that's the day he went into the bin. So we assume he was about six to eight weeks old when he went to the bin. So then we can kind of rough estimate his age. But also, um, that lets us know if they're not having babies uh, within about two months of that date. So about now, we're gonna be looking at, because now it's 922 and they don't have babies. So that's what the pink card is. I'm jumping ahead of myself here. But that's what the pink card is, is babies. So they don't have babies. Looks like they never have had babies. So. If they don't start having babies in another couple of weeks, we'll replace this male, because maybe this male is sterile. If they continue to not have babies for another uh, couple months, then we'll replace all the females, and this will be a whole new bin. Um, but it very seldom it gets to that. Normally the male solves the problem, because what's the likelihood that four females are not getting pregnant, um, and they're all sterile? It's more likely it's the male. Something's wrong with the male, right? But we can also look in here and see if they're pregnant. Um, you know, so if I look in here, there's our male, that marble Dumbo Rex right here. Um, but I don't even see that they're super pregnant. There's a female, there's a female. So this male probably in a couple weeks will get replaced. So he'll get euthanized and sold as an extra large um, or whatever he weighs out at. Um, okay, so then the pink card obviously um, represents babies. So here you can see very clearly there's four pups and 10 crawlers in this bin. Okay, so this one's got 14 crawlers. This one's got 11, whatever. Now this green card, I can show you, but you can look over here too. So this one's had babies before. So again, our male, our male is just a black one, so that'll be a black top hair, smooth hair, right? Just a basic black. So then uh, me and dad both do it a little bit different. Um, that's okay, same theory. So here's dad's handwriting, 830 of two pinkies and they killed their pinkies bad, right? 8.22, we pulled off 15 smalls out of this bin. 8.29, they killed five pinkies. So then twice here, you can see that they've killed off an entire litter, okay? Then we uh, fostered out 11 of their pinkies because they had these bigger, uh, within pups at the time, so we fostered out 11 of their pinkies. So they kind of get half credit for producing those pinkies. And then here, they produced 10 out of 10 weeds. So that's saying they had, you know, 10, 10 were still alive. Um, which, I um, don't know how you necessarily know that if you can't look back and see if there's 10 pinkies before or whatever. Um, but he, his theory is that's 10 out of 10, so they had 100% survival. I don't really care what the survival rate is because once we fill up this card and we have to start a new card, I'll write at the bottom of the new card how many babies got pulled out from what dates, from this date to that date. And then we can go through all the bins and average how many babies they all pulled. And if there's a bin with a lower average, like let's say this bin only is pulling, you know, like let's say 30 babies a month and all the other bins, the average is 45, well then we know to kill this bin off. I don't need to know the survival rate, it doesn't matter. Because if this one's survival rate's 50%, but we're pulling out 60 babies, they're having 120 a month, and this one's pulling out 
50 babies and they're only having 60, this one's survival rate's better, but they're both pulling out the same amount of babies. To me, I care about the production. Dad likes to know the survival rate. It doesn't matter. I'm not saying either one's right or wrong. Uh, just that's our two different mindsets of how we do it. So you can see there, um, we'll take all kinds of notes here. Um, pull pinkies until 10:15 because they've had they killed a litter, killed another litter, killed another litter. So instead of uh, or they killed two litters in a, in a row, and we pulled these crawlers. Oh, these were pups and pinkies they pulled. So they've killed pretty much four litters almost in a row. So we're gonna pull all their pinkies. Then we'll let them keep their babies uh, a couple more times. If they kill them again, then we'll kill off all these females and uh, we'll start that then because uh, they're obviously not good moms. Um, so anyway. So again, you get the color card, just tells you how many babies are currently in that bin. So 14 pups, and yes, we can just scratch it out. The front side of the green card tells you the male, how many babies have been pulled. I never even showed you the back card, the side of the card. The back side of the card is the females. So you got a black, whatever, and there's the date she's put in, black rex, black cake. So then that side shows you what the females are. Um, there's another thing me and dad kind of somewhat disagree upon. He likes to know what each male and females are. In there, we don't really breed for color. We don't breed pets necessarily. So I don't think that that matters. I think all we need to know is the date that the male went in and approximately how old the females are, which as you notice are the same date. So you just write like the date in the corner. And then um, if you add a new female or male, then you write it on the card. But that's the way I think we do it. But it eh, doesn't matter again. You know, same way, to, uh, two different ways to accomplish the same thing. But anyway, that's our card system. So again, color, how many babies are currently in the bin? This side is babies, uh, the male, and the amount of babies that have been pulled out of the bin. And this side is just your females. 